Okay, so today, maneuvers. We're gonna go through the steps for our three exercises, right? Straight line one, upset and parallel. Let's remember a little quick. Upset and parallel parking. How many pull-ups, three pull-ups we have for straight line? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Guys, how many free pull-ups we have for straight line? Three. One. Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, yeah. Free pull-up, free, just one. How many free pull-ups for the upset? Two. Two. And parallel? That's when you have three four. Two. Nah. -uh. The same. Basically, upset is parallel. It's the same. Only the difference for offset, you will need to park behind the first row of cone. For parallel, you want to be inside of the box. That's only the difference. Uh, steps are the same, everything, almost the same. So initial starting position will be different for, for the parallel park. Other than that, it will be the same. How many looks? Looks. Yeah. Go, go out and look. One for straight line and two for offset. Two for parallel. So these are pull ups, these are loops. Pull up, loops. Can we do extra pull ups? Yes. Can we do extra loops? No. No, don't even try. Don't even, oh, don't even try. Please, I will display five. Oh, okay. no. Can yes, I go wrong to my phone? I feel like I open my Okay, sure. <laughs> Okay, how many points we got total? 15. No, 12. 12 points. We paying by points for our mistakes. What's up, Darius? Oh, now you're smiling. No. <laughs> Every time you come in here. Oh, okay. 12 points. How much? Additional pull up. How much is it? How many points? Just one. Just one. Just one. Oh, okay. So pull up. One point. Um, what if you hit the cone? Point. Two points. Two points. If you pulled forward, so it's two points plus pull up. If you have three pull up, you're using three pull up. If you don't have three pull up, you're paying by pull up for pull up by your points. Uh, if you pulled up forward, it's two. If you did not, it's five. Damn. Make yeah. sure, yeah, you listen what's going on. It will be probably one more or two more tracks doing maneuvers around next to you the GPS. So it can be confusing. Brrr, you know, what's going on? Is it me or somebody else? So you hear the whistle, stop, and make sure that you understand what's going on. You didn't hit the cone. If you did, just pull up for it. Right? So let's go one by one. Straight line. The setup will be so in uh, some locations they require you to the boss. So you, it, it by chance you can do right upset and left parallel parking, or you can do left upset and right parallel parking. So by 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 luck. As for me, it's the same. If you can do one, you can do another one. So what's the point? If you know where to look, what mirror to use, you know what reference points to use. Okay. But it can be it can be the setup can be different. Let's say that we have set up for left offset. Those dots, these are cones. Total of six cones, right? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and another three cones for the upset. So what you will need to do, you will start your exercise when you track behind the first set of cones. The 
examiner will read the instructions, he will say, okay, no questions, get into the truck and start pulling forward, okay, for the straight line. You will have references, usually there are two cones in the front. So you, these cones continuation of lines of cones on the right and left, okay? Just look forward, we will talk about it, because this is basically, it's 70% of the exercise. To do straight line, you need to pull up forward first, properly, staying in between those cones. Being able to see cones equally the same amount of you know, cones <laughs> you see from the right and left. Okay, just imagine this is bridge. You cannot fall from it, just stay on it. The major mistake, well, most of the people pulling left by a lot. When we will be on the yard, you will see other people doing that. You'll see it somewhere here. Why? Straight line, yeah. yeah, it's not your line isn't straight. You know? yeah. <laughs> Come on, you need to be straight. Just pull up forward. So you will need to go forward, okay, until your trailer, back of your trailer will, will pass the first one. This is first one, first row of cones, this is last. So I don't want to confuse you, okay? For the straight line, you pull up forward, you stop, then you need to go all the way back. Guys, exercise is go through the setup for straight line, the entire sink, all six cones, all six cones, but I'm expecting you to be a very good driver, so the bad news, good drivers failing straight line. By what? By not going behind the last cone. Please, guys, make sure, even in this room, one or two people will fail straight line. So what do you want behind it? The last wheel? The behind one? the last one. No, what? Last one. On the truck. No, on the truck. What do you bumper. Want? Okay, bumper. Okay, that's what I want. Bumper. Not the trailer back. Bumper. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. All the way. All the way back. Like this. Mm. So make sure you can clearly see this cone in the front. And vice versa when we do the pull up, right? Uh, yeah. Right. So look outside, three checks. Look outside, count those cones. Okay, look to the back. If there is no cones, then step, go out and look, step. You got one look. There is no other use for this look, straight line, right? Yeah. Go out and make sure you will spend the extra three seconds, it will save yourself two, three days. Oh, really? For the scheduling and look at it. Alright? Please make sure that it's this simple. Okay? You got it. You will start before, you will leave with the truck, with the truck, with the trailer, trailer back. All this setup and then go back until you will clear the last one. Okay? Now few words few words about um, preparation okay you will need to do some setup before you will start your exercise yes you confirm that you're good that you're ready to go to examiner no questions jump in the truck three things we do once we're an innovator what is three things any guesses what do you think is important yeah. what Three points, three points, ah, three points of contact, okay, yes, sure. When you're climbing in a truck, that's important, also. Uh, make sure you're not gonna be disqualified. Because, yeah, the habit to go out, like you getting out from your car like this, you know, yeah. with disqualification right away. The same way we're climbing in, the same way we're going out, facing the truck. Three points of contact, one on the door, another on the front. Don't forget. Plus, it's, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. I, I cut one. It was very big student. Big one. <laughs> I just left and I got him. <laughs> he was like, because I, I, when I got him, he was with his neck this far away from this. <laughs> Nick, yes. I said, I'm going to kill you now. <laughs> I said, but now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Please. When it's slippery, especially when it's snowing, of course or it's raining, you're on the truck stop, when there is a grease, oil, diesel, you know, and it's slippery like a hell, it's worse than a nice. Or you step there. 
I felt one, um, I was loading up, oh, okay, all this, you know, stuff got together, stars, you know, lined up. I'm getting uh, loaded in Nebraska, Friday, on some farm, no reception, nothing, not at all. I got loaded, people disappeared, they gave me, uh, you know, they seal, okay, seal it up in the Bible. Okay, I got fuel because I was rushing, uh, I came there to the, the last minute, you know, to get loaded. I didn't get fuel. It was a light for a long time already, so a few gallons left, you know, just to, to get to the, um, uh, you know, truck stop. And uh, uh, they disappeared. I was going back and forth to seal it up. It started snowing, like September, October, you know, that just started snowing, so slippery. And I was jumping in and out, so I slept and I hit my elbow so badly. I didn't break it, but I thought it's because I couldn't move it, it's swollen to me. And I got standard transmission, somehow I moved it because it, the temperature dropped by a lot. It was deep freezing, I don't know, maybe 10 degrees overnight. Okay. And uh, I didn't have enough of fuel to keep the truck warm for long enough. And people, it, it's Friday night, so Saturday, Sunday, probably on Mondays, it will be another, you know, pick up or delivery or whatever. So well, if it would, would be ankle or something, it would be dead. So all this, you know, small stuff is more so it's for you. Easy, easy to, you know, fall from the truck. Three points of contact, but no, something else. Three things we do once we hit the driver's seat. We're adjusting seat belt. We're adjusting mirrors. And what else? And steering wheel. Okay, uh, to adjust seat, there is a paddle on the freight line. You just pull it. It's air seat, so it will go up and down, pull and push. Mm -hmm. But it's a black wire handle, pull it, and you can move it with your feet back and forth. So you adjust the wheel, do it to the truck. And, um, the steel old good rules, how to adjust it. It's good for cars, for, for trucks, for everything. Yeah. Uh, you want to see the way that if you will, if it's standard transmission, so when you push, uh, clutch pedal all the way to the floor, your foot must be a little bit bent on it. Just a little bit, not like this. A little bit, all the way to the floor. And this is good position. Then steering wheel. You need to unlock it and then you can move it up and down, back and forth. So, you need to adjust steering wheel the way that if you will push your shoulders all the way to the seat, you must be able to reach the top 12 o'clock of the steering wheel with your mm. rest yeah. like, this. like this. It's good for cars. For, uh, in cars we also check if we have enough of room over the head. But the truck you need another person staying on your shoulders. <laughs> it's too hard. So, three things. Now mirrors. Let's talk a little bit about mirrors. Uh, at least today, Class is very important. We'll have tomorrow another one, and that's it for classes. Okay, we're going to be going to do it. So please, very important. Remember what I just said. Um, it was a guy. It was a student who never drove it before, never ever. And I explained him. I explained him how to do street bike. He did it, he, I got pretested him, he passed it, everything, so mirrors, safe start, adjustments, he explained everything, went to the truck, and first three times, he did it perfectly, like perfectly, another instructor saying, like, Alex, I never saw it, I never saw it before. After three times, on the fourth time, he started messing it up, it's another, set, it's step number two of learning, so, <laughs> because he just got this confidence, okay, I'm doing it, so I got relaxed, you need to stay home. And think about these steps until you have the city on hands, please, guys. You will get your experience very quickly. One, two, three years. Right? Very quickly. So, so please don't wait until you have a better flex here in the school. Stay focused, think what you do. So, mirrors. You need to adjust your both mirrors, driver and uh, passenger, the way that, first of all, you need to make sure that you, that you stay with the, with the driver. If you are not straight, okay, you are not going to be able to adjust your mirrors, right? Because whatever you will do, it will be wrong. 
So first of all, make sure you straight how to do this. When we, if we, in most cases, we're doing uh, day caps. Look in the back window. We can cheat a little bit related to the strikes with sleepers. Yeah, you have this window in the back. Look outside and compare cross member of the truck with the back head of the trailer. Is it parallel or not? You can see it pretty good. If you need to pull up a little bit, looking back, make sure it's straight. When it's straight, now you can adjust meters. Right? Pull the brakes. You got it. Straight first. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you adjusting your mirrors the way that you can see the trailer in just very narrow line here, very narrow line. The same amount of trailer on the both sides. Okay, you don't want your trailer to be here, right? You need your mirror. You need to see space outside of the trailer. Nothing is going on on the trailer itself, right? So make sure just narrow line. Me personally, I like when I do not see trailer at all. Okay, if I need to make sure the trailer is still connected, it's still there and it's leaning to the side. Okay? Now, trailer wheels. We will have just one. Excellent. And you want it to be in the middle of the mirror. This is good adjustment. Okay. We will talk about it when you will do offset and parallel. You will lower one or, or another mirror, depending on what side you, know. you will lower it, but then you will need to return it back before you do the straight line. It's cheating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you're not cheating, man, you're not going for it. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's it's allowed. It's allowed. You can use your uh, references. You can lower it. So I know what you do. Okay, mirrors first. I'm telling you the story, the true story. Uh, okay, it was one of our students in another school that I worked in that neighbor school. <laughs> okay, it was a student. Um, he was struggling with straight line. He got everything. He did predict, he did driving, he did even other two maneuvers, more or less. You know, he did parallel better than anything else because in the end of offset, he still need to do a straight line. And it was luck because uh, one, st one instructor took him, then another instructor took him, no way. So I just got here and said, hey dude, let's work on it. I explained to me, okay, now let's go. He adjusted it, so it, mirrors wasn't a problem. But initially, it was a mirror. One mirror here, another there, you know, we're just looking, he doesn't know, so that, that's the biggest problem. But he didn't get straight line for months, two months, three months, everybody tried. Okay, and it was like that, uh, hey dude, and so I'm um, just, okay, do your exercise, pulling up forward, starting going back. The trailer jack knifing completely, like almost 90 degrees. I'm stopping you. And you tell me what you see in the mirrors. Do you see anything unusual? No. Uh, don't your trailer, aren't your trailer probably jackknifing to one side or the other? No. So this guy left, and then in a few months, he drove with somebody else so on his permit. And in a couple months, he came back and he did it. I didn't work there, but my guys, I mean, other instructors called me, hey, Alex, you know what? The guy passed. <laughs> he did his straight line and everybody, well. So I'm a kind of, you know, feeling can come. Every time a student does the straight line first time. <laughs> Ability to listen, it's not rocket science, guys. It's not rocket science, it's very simple. It, just few things that you need to follow, and that's it. Just please do it. Okay? Mirrors is one of them. Then, when you pulling up, okay? <clears throat> when you pulling up forward, let's say you pulled a little bit, this is the first step, and it's 70% of success. Believe it or not, 
pharmacy, right? If you didn't pull up forward properly, so nothing is happening. You're not doing it. Now you need to fix it and you need real experience to do it. Okay, let's say you're pulling up forward. If you pulled right or left, okay? Or, or let's do this scenario. Your trailer came, came too close to the cons on the left. What do you think, Phil? What do you think you need to do? You need to rotate the steering wheel right or left? Yeah. You're too close on the, right, on, the, on the right. Okay, now let's see what happened. You rotated it right. Now you see a mile from the right and you cannot see cons on the left at all. No. Was it right move? No. Well, just on 50% right. Remember, this is a long vehicle, long trailer. Um, if you want to make it closer to the cons on the right, what do you do? You, you, you steer right and then you counter steer left. What you're trying to see in your mirrors, where your trailer tandem is. Trailer tandems, that's what matters. And then, so you're fixing the position of trailer tandem, you're trying to position it in the middle. Then you're fixing trailer angle. Trailer tandem first, then trailer tandem, uh, trailer angle, related to the setup. Did you get it? Questions, very important. No? Let's do it on the desk. Okay. Let's say this is one line of points, this is another line of points. Okay. Now you're parallel to, to the setup, right? You're parallel to it. On the left and right, right? If you position like that, you're not parallel, right? So this is problem. The trailer standard is in the middle. So this is question of the angle. Just fix the angle. If the angle is closer somewhere, you need to do two things. You need to fix, first of all, tandem position. What do you need to do in this case? Pull the tandem to the middle. And now when tandem is almost there, just leave it a little bit room for counter steering, right? Because when you will do this, it will still go in. Be going to the right. <coughs> so you fix position of the tandem, now you're fixing the angle, it's called counter steer. So you steer to move it away from the cone, then you counter steer to make it in the middle of the setup. Got it now? See. See. <laughs> okay. Two moves, it's not just one. Angle is important. A few more things I want to tell you about angle. So setup is very is very perfect. So it's measured, every cone is on its place, we got markings and everything, so cones are good. But look, this is a real situation. So you're in front of the setup. And that this is how you see the cones. So cones are opening the closer the cones, the more angle you have. I mean, the opening like that on both sides. It looks like you're not parallel. It's another very, very important thing <coughs> and part of the straight line to understand. Very important. So it, it opens. Why? Setup is wrong? No, it's perfect. Right there. Appearance, yes. Because those cones are closer. The closer the object is, the bigger it appears. Okay? This is the same distance from your from, from your trailer side. The same distance. But this is subsequent. <coughs> 20 feet. This is like 30 feet, 40 and 50, more or less, okay? At the 50 feet, this distance appears like that. It lies to you. So you're trying to put your trailer parallel to the cones, but it's not parallel. 
you need to have the instead you need to have the same angle in both mirrors then you panel did you get it said yeah okay very important because doing that making it parallel to the cone on one side it's uh, intentionally mess up your straight line okay okay angle on both sides well now you when you pulled up forward for straight line you will need to find last cones and maybe some objects some references even behind them the farther the better it is and keep the back of your trailer keep it in between those objects in between these cones and you go. how to do it i'll explain easy difference between your car and tractor trailer so questions about it no questions we're going to be using these mirrors we're going to be using them so let's say this is your car right this is your car you're going back you want your car go right what are you doing with steering, steering? back of your car turn, turn. Turn it what side? Wait, in the car? Yeah, in the car. Oh, to the right. To the right. To the right. You position steering wheel like that. No sort of your car going this way, right? Because of the wheels. And back of your car going that way. Well, this is your habits or reflexes. You don't think when you do it. You will experience the drivers. You don't think. You just do it. And that would, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, right? These reflexes that build from for the car, you need to forget about that because it's opposite now. So now you are not going, especially first time, you're not going fast, please guys. You're going slowly. If you need, stop as many times. I'm not blaming you in the beginning. Yeah, when you will get it, then you will go do it in one more. But now stop as many times as you need. Make sure you understand what's going on. You got confused, stop and take. I will give you a couple tips how to do it very quickly without like deeply you know, going inside of the process and stuff. But let's see what's gonna happen. If there is a trailer connected to it, right? There is a trailer. You wanna do the same. You want your trailer, go that way, go right, okay? What's going to happen if you rotate your steering wheel right? It will go the other way. So, your truck will go, you know, and the, the truck's back. We'll go, it's, it's, we'll do the same as your car is doing. But the trailer now, right, because your truck going that way, is doing this. So your trailer will go the other way. This is all rocket science about the trailer. So you want to be, you want to turn your trailer to the left. You need to go right or to the right. You need to go left. You rotate your steering from left, and your trailer end of your vehicle going left, and your trailer going right. That's it. What I recommend you to do. Do this, fingers, two fingers, okay? Steering wheel goes left, trailer goes right. In the car, it does the same. In the trailer, it does this. You will be nervous at the test. Few times you'll do it. I mean, you will stop and you'll, oh man, what am I doing? What am I doing? What is that? <laughs> is it car? Is it truck? What was going on? Just do this. Nobody's gonna laugh at me. Okay? Not only people laughing when you're messing it up completely. Okay, it's too nice. You're losing control. Uh, or why did you fail? Uh, it's examiner's fault. Always blame yourself. <laughs> Makes it fun. <laughs> why did you fail? It's examiner. <laughs> 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 That's the reason. Remember this example when 
a summary cut and run the first. And everybody said, this is because of this asshole. You know, he cut, so it's his, his fault. Guys, there is no point in blaming this guy. There's just no point. It's, it's, and only one the guy in media also was driving, said, no, it's because of me. I needed to slow down and give him more. I, I saw that. I could predict that he's going to do it. So. And it slow down, let him do it. In this case, I wouldn't break hard. Mm -hmm. So, now, let's do this exercise. So, you got it, right? Terms. Tractor trailer turning by setting up by angle that you set up between tractor and trailer. So let's say you turn it, you got some angle. Even if you will straighten up your steer, it keeps doing what? It keeps turning. And angle increases. Okay? So make sure you see the, the side of the trailer as a reference. Make sure you see the tangle and the objects where you're going. Okay, I will explain you guys how to do body part in this one. I have time just to spend a little bit because this is your future job. Believe it or not. They do not check it during the test, but it will be checked on the first track stop and you will stop the third night there, I don't know. A lot of emotions. So right, you created some angle, even some microscopical angle will make it go look. You see, it develops. It develops. Tractor trailer cannot go straight back. Don't think, if you will leave the steering wheel exactly where it is, don't think that trailer will go straight back. No, you need to control it all the way. Each yard is going back or right. So the best way to do it, just very lightly make it go to the right, then catch it there. So once I set up in straight, it will not go it's straight? Not, it's not going to go straight. Mm -hmm. okay. It's a bad news, I know. <laughs> you constantly controlling it. It's trying to escape to the right or left. Always, you go. It's growing in one year or the other. So only one way to see its very moment when it started going left or right is what? Compare. You will compare your boss mirrors. Okay? Um, we will talk about comparison. Uh, well, I mean, mirrors. Comparing what, what you see in your mirrors in a second. But before that, steering could. Steering wheel in your truck, it's not a car. In the car we have this variable steering wheels, usually, right? When you're going on the highway, it's less. When you're going in the city, it's more, I mean, reactive from um, rotation. In the truck, it's not. It's four, four, full rotations for the steering side, from side to side. I see it all the time, those mistakes, when students uh, positioning steering wheel like that with the flat side up. I said, okay, my, my steer is straight. <laughs> not necessarily. Might be, but not necessarily. Okay? Well, let me put it on the board. Four rotations. One, two, three, four. How many center positions for the steering wheel? How many? One, two, three, four, five. And only one of them here is the actual center. How to make sure? The easiest and the best way, just look in your window, you will be able to see. I got some lazy people. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If you're lazy, you know that probably your steering wheel position on the left. Rotate it all the way to one side. All the way to one side until you will hit the metal. Stop it. You rotate it there. Now what do you do? Two, two full rotations to the other side. Then center it and two. Okay, four rotation total, two rotation, one, two, two positions, etc. You will need to check every time when you leave in truck. Uh, I, I don't want you guys have your key in the pocket, shut it off and stuff. No, make sure you pull the brakes. How do we put vehicle on the brake? There are two brakes. Yellow, I will leave it as black. This is yellow, this is red. Oh no, this is red. This is trailer, this is tractor. If you push all of them, truck and trailer can roll, right? Remember, we need the air brake. We discussed how it works. 
if you will pull red only, only red will pop up. So you will, I mean, uh, engage traders parking brake by doing that. Okay. If you will pull tractor, yellow brake, both of them will pop up. So always pull yellow one, and then check, make sure that both of them pop up to put it on the on the brake. Okay? Now, you release the brake, okay? Uh, well, before you go, and this is very common mistake, very common mistake, uh, you will see it all the time, when somebody forgot to release brake and start dragging trailer in the morning, da 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 I got a call from my driver, it was 2013, I guess, just started the company. He called me, hey Alex, you know what, bad news, what's up? I just messed up four of your tires. <laughs> I pulled from the truck stop and I got ice patch or brakes get frozen, it was bad weather. And yeah, you need, you need four tires. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Even even those recaps will cost you on the on the road. Yeah, I don't know, two seventy to eighty for a recap. For recaps, it's nothing. It's freaking garbage. Yeah. And the, the virgin ones, the the new ones, will cost you. I got I bought tires before from China and I paid like two hundred bucks. Everything cost. Very new. Delivery freight, delivery, custom clearing, everything. So I got it for two hundred bucks on my. Uh, on my warehouse, but it was in dark in there. Now it's a little bit more because they added uh, taxes, I mean, custom duties. Yeah, how is it? For one tire you got $200? Yeah. It costs that much more for Yeah, so uh, I was selling them for 270 to 80 Very good. Um, it's Chinese, but it was factory that produced tires for Yokohama. Oh, yeah. Uh, they got this... Uh, agreement with um, Michelin, and they produced the previous model, legally, so it was very good tires. Mm -hmm. 280, it was more, I mean, for people. But now, I mean, you cannot buy for that tire for 280. <laughs> it will cost you four or 500 bucks, especially on the road. So how much do they cost brand new here? Like say you want to go down the road and get what you say? The same thing, you will pay probably 350, 400 bucks, at least. Plus labor, plus towing road assistance. So if you owner ops or even company drivers ask them to put a tire, you know, they usually got kids on the, on the belly of the trailer or behind in the cabin. So we can put even a couple of tires there. It will make it cheaper. So at company they will charge you with 180, 200 bucks per day. At least if it's your fault. Okay, it's part of the job. It will happen. It might happen. It will happen. No drama, okay? <laughs> Four tires less for Alex. No, I paid it. It was a good drive. <laughs> I didn't want him to go. <laughs> I know. Um, so, make sure you disengage post brakes. When we disengage, what we do? Yellow goes first. Wait for a second. Red goes first. At the same time, try to hold yellow as well from popping up. Because sometimes you do this. <laughs> automatically. You can do it forever. <laughs> Unless you're holding both of them. At the same time? Yeah. So which one should be pushed first? Push yellow, yellow and then push red and yeah. trying to hold. At least you will feel if it's trying to hold. Just like so. Yeah. And wait for a second. When sound will go, it's okay. And if you need to put it, another thing. When somebody opening up the door, jumping out to see the cones, count some, wah, 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 you know, the siren from the truck. Oh, Alex, something wrong with the truck. No, something wrong with you because we didn't pull the brakes. That's why it's, you know, buzzing because the door is open and brakes are not engaged. Okay? So make sure brakes first. Before you go and when you stop, every time, parking brakes. It's not, even trucks is automatic. It's not automatic transmission in our cars when you get parking position, right? So parking position will hold you up here, down here, so it's not gonna work. When you're in a truck, no, in a truck, it's not automatic transmission. Even when it's truck with automatic, it's not automatic, it's our body. Remember what I told you? It's the same standard transmission with the robot called shifter on it and computer on the top of the robot shifter. Okay, so computer makes decision when to not 
like us, engage the clutch, you know, put it in the this or that gear for you. But it's not automatically neutral. If you will put it in neutral, it, it's neutral, it's not parking. For, for brake. What else? Yeah, make sure that brakes disengage. Um, you're pulling forward, right? We're trying to fix our tandem. Position it to the middle and then fix the angle of it. Right? Steer, then counter steer. Constantly check your mirrors, don't go fast. If you will just choose this point, okay, I'm going straight. I'm going, I don't care about my mirror, just going straight. What's gonna happen? Something will happen, guys. Uh, Unper on perfect uh, road. Wind, believe it or not, it affects a lot, even on the slow speeds. Um, so it can be, it can drop to the right or left. Plus some alignment, something, whatever. Everything, rope on the piece of gravel and the other one, some accent, can affect it and push it to the side. So uh, in most cases, if you're looking forward, you will end up the best, the best case you will end up like this. Yeah, your bumper will be in the middle, but the trailer will be outside. And now for you, with your experience, it's not that easy to fix it. Now you need to go with bigger angles to fix it. So, not good. Okay, so how many rotations from side to side we have in the steering wheel? Four. Four. To go to the center, how are you making sure that you're not? Center, you look, look, the first option, second. Go all the way to one side or the other to the metal, boom. And then two full rotation, one, another. Two full rotation, make it. First one and second two. All the way to one side, all the way until you hit, boom, mm -hmm. until you hit the metal. You cannot rotate it. Yeah. And then two rotation. And it will put it inside. Okay. I feel like it will be maybe easier when we won't be in the truck. And it won't be if you don't know what to do. It won't be. It won't I mean, be. You, you think that, yes, I am, I see it all the time. I see it all the time. Please work hard to understand it. Please, it will make it much quicker. You can get this, uh, the straight line in one day. You can, you never did it, you can get it in one day and be confident, I see it all the time. But please work in the class, work at home, try to remember what we did here. It's not gonna be easy on the track, it will be a lot of frustration, a lot of under, out of control stuff, and I don't want you to be frustrated. <laughs> I want you to have fun. So please remember what we just spoke about, okay? Everything matters, everything that I said. Pulling up forward, being, you know, uh, straight with your lead, okay, is important. Now, when you're going back, uh, you cannot do big moves on the steering wheel. If you, what people usually do, they see, oh, okay, it's growing in that mirror, look at that, it's here, I know what to do, what we're doing in this situation. If you see the trainer side wall but all the way in the, in the right mirror, what we need to do on the steering wheel? Start on the right Beautiful. Beautiful. You're rotating toward the problem. Or if you will use our thumb sink, right? You want your trailer go left. That easy. So steering wheel goes right. And oh I know what to do. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Let's pull up forward. You, you're losing the control. You don't know where you are with the steering wheel. You don't know where your steer is. This is the point. You do all your, you do all your three exercises, knowing where your steer is. It's kind of paranoia. Every time you're leaving the track, it must be straight. When you go, you must know where it is, okay? So, in this case, we're gonna repeat it all, uh, to the right, but how much? Are Half maximum, half maximum. So good way to do it, Ferrari style. You put it on the 12 o'clock and you can do this. Okay, keep holding it for this. Keep holding it. Sometimes you cannot do it. Right? 
but not more. Don't go. You almost still go. And the same way as, you know, some artists in the circus, you know, clown going on, on the rope under the roof of the circus, of the circus, right? If you will go on the rope and you will wiggle too much from side to side, you're going to fall. The same thing. You will lose control. It's straight line. The distance between your trailer and the, um, the cones is like 12 and trailer is 8.6. So it's 3.4, uh, not 3 point, uh, 3 feet 6 inches divided to on both, so it's just wider, 3 feet 6 inches. On two sides it will be 1 foot 8 inch, 8 inches from one side. 1 foot 8 inches, it's like this. The distance between the tires and the, and the line of cars. If you're in the middle, it's like this. You don't have this, you know, luxury of going small moves, constant, constantly check your mirrors. Okay. So once again, first, thumb rule. <laughs> thumb rule, right? You need your trailer go left. Steering wheel go to right. Second, one half maximum. Mm -hmm. For yeah, for adjustment. One half. With experience, you don't need this one half. Honestly, if you pulled up, if you did good job pulling up forward, you need a quarter, you need less than that, or even less. You'll see experience a driver to go with it. Yeah, just a little bit. It's not ability to to steer good. It's ability to see it. <laughs> see, just try to compare both mirrors. With experience, it will come, and you will kind of feel it, feel it. Okay, one, two max. Um, what else? Mirrors. Every second. Every second. One second. So basically, you go with your face like that, like a fish. <laughs> from one mirror to another. You cannot make it looking in one mirror only. Okay, me with all my experience, I'm checking those mirrors always. If I wanna make it straight, I will check those mirrors. Don't forget about this, this cones that will be looking like the opening, right? Will be looking like that in those mirrors. Make it the same. It's visual effect. It doesn't mean that you are parallel on both sides of the screen. No, it's visual effect. Okay? So, thumb rule. If you don't know where, where, what side you need to rotate steering wheel, now what we do? Stop. Stop first. Stop. Boom. Okay, what am I doing? Let's do that. Make sure you know where the steering is. How many stops do are we allowed? Well, guys, how many stops? Good question. Uh, no stops allowed. But don't, don't, you know, it, I never, I never saw, I never, it never happened uh, on my experience, more than three years experience of teaching, that uh, somebody was disqualified or even for making stop to your straight line. They're not going to yes. even take this. Don't go crazy, like, too long, don't take, don't delay it too much, don't, you know, when, when it's weird already. If you need to stop a couple of times, nobody will tell you so. Okay? But by instruction, you need to go into the gear and do it and go one move. If you cannot, you need to pull up forward. You got one free pull ups and 12 points. By experience, nobody losing points on a straight line and upset. Very rare. So everybody comes to parallel by you know, having like 12, 12 points. And uh, upset is a little bit easier because. Um, by doing upset, okay, so we, we spoke about parallel today. Uh, on the upset, you only pull up forward and then change lane to the left or right accordingly, uh, going back. Okay. Um, so, you change, so you can change lanes going back? Yeah, going back. You will need to pull up forward and change lanes going back. Good driver you can do it. If you will get straight line, Offset is not a question because basically it's 
it's the same it's uh, the same heart as if you would pull it up forward and mess up and pull it up you, you do more job than when you go pulling up forward and now just going back doing straight line basically <laughs> just move it to this thing but i am teaching you guys to do it by steps and why it's important because by practicing upset you securing yourself i mean you're protecting yourself from making mistake or for falling uh, failing you. and plus the procedures the steps are the same as for parallel so you learn doing uh, practicing doing upset you're practicing doing parallel as well same same steps okay it's easier once again i got drivers okay i can do upset right i know you can you're experienced drivers you got the cdl for 15 years before it lapsed you know but you cannot do parallel oh let's see but i've said i can no you learn how to do upset properly to, uh, once i'm not teaching you how to drive i'm teaching you how to pass the test okay all these advices is making you confident when you're, when you're there when you're ready for your test and reporting to exam all right, you will know how to do it 100%. It's not about chance, it's not about luck. Okay, I'm doing uh, parallel uh, two times out of three, so I'm ready for the test. No, it's not please. 100%. Just follow the steps, don't, don't skip it. It will be a big problem in the future. That's answering your question. Is, is it easier on the track? Uh, people come for the upset, they passing it in the class, they go in there trying a couple times and they're missing out. They start skipping the entire scene like half of exercise instead of break it once then straighten up go, go some distance backwards and break it twice they break they break it once and then from there going to another side break it second time and finding themselves in the middle of the setup when it's on fix so skipping this stuff is the, is, is the problem you won't be able i think so to do it by feeling even by the end of the course it's impossible guys you need hundreds and hundreds of hours in different situations, when you break and stuff. Only what I can teach is how serious it is to go out and look. If you've got any doubts that you can be close to some objects or whatever, never think that somebody is going to love you or oh, you're going to humiliate yourself if you will go out extra time. Bullshit. No, go as many times as possible. Other people around you, they are professionals, they will go out and help you. That's what we do. Only a small percentage of people no, I start annoying, honking. You need something, you don't see this. this regard. <laughs> Most of them, and you do the same. If you see somebody struggling, it's a new driver, so just very good. Okay? I don't know, let me make sure that it's there. Okay. do this exercise okay so Cedric let's do it one more time you're going back you see that your trainer growing in the left mirror what do you do He's, uh, in back to, the right. to the right mm -hmm. what's gonna happen if you will go to the right your trailer pulling left already. If you go right, your trailer goes more left. No, I mean, you need to get it back to the right, your trailer. Oh, oh yeah, 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 you need to get it back to the right, but uh, how are you doing? What are you oh, doing with the steering wheel? Oh, it's the left side. Left. If it's growing in the left mirror, you're rotating steering wheel to the left. Towards the problem. Uh, Towards the problem, almost. How much for? Uh, at least like half. Half rotation, not more. Not even at least, it's kind not of the more. Area. In the beginning, yeah, you will need entire half because you will miss this very moment. The million dollar question is not even the site what you need to rotate it. It's moment when you need to. Okay, see it on that. Okay. Philly, yes. the same question. Trailer goes left. 
tremors, goes flat. Left. What do you do? I go right. You sure? Do the thumbs. <laughs> do the thumbs. I explained. <laughs> this is your steering wheel, right? This is your trailer. So, so in my. What trailer, do you want your trailer to do? So first, my if my trailer go left. That's, yeah. what that was, that's what was the question, right? No, no. You need to fix the situation. Your trailer, you backing up, mm -hmm. and you see in your mirror that your trailer is growing in the left mirror. Mm -hmm. So I go left. You go with the steering wheel. What do yeah. you do with the steering wheel? You go left. Left, right? yes. I to fix left. it, and the trailer will go back. Okay. Sayed. Yes. Let's go right, trailer. Holy great. What do you do? You pay the same question. You're backing up, your trailer is growing in the right mirror. Okay, if it is going right, I go also right so the trailer can go back. How much for? Uh, how much is it? Yeah. How much do you turn the wheel? How much you turn the wheel? This thing for? Not degrees. If you only go with degrees, but it's too technical. Come on. Not more than one half. Yeah, right. Not more than two. One half. Inch. No, one half of the rotation. Okay. One half of the rotation. What is one half? Okay. This is your steering wheel, right? If you will rotate it, right? Is this one half? No. No. And this is. Uh, it, this is quarter, right? This is one quarter. And this is another very common mistake that students do. They need to do the, all, all that is allowed because it's very last moment to fix it. This question, if you can fix it or not. And they do just quarter. This is the half. No, it's quarter. No, to go no. one half. You want to be here. Right? And this is one half. This is what you're going to steal, right? Uh, yeah, once you fixed it, you see that it's went back. Once you, fi once you fixed it, send it down. And then you will do what, uh, what Vlad is saying, that he's saying very, very, Right, see. If you're fixing it, let's say your trailer grows to the right side, right? That's what you see in the mirror, that's what's happening. Okay, you summer here. Now you rotate it, right? So your tractor goes boom and straightening up with the trailer. But now look, your tractor is too close to the corner. So what we need to do, by when going back, okay, remember what we, the first thing we were, I, I told you guys, you need to look for the position of your tandem as well as angle of your trailer, always. Make sure that this angle is not big, is not big, that it's small, always. This is first, okay? And second, look that your tandem isn't too close to cones on your right or on your left. It's somewhere in the middle. So what is foot and the half from one side, right? A little bit more than foot and the half from each side. That's the middle. If you see that you kind of foot and two feet and a half from another side, like three feet, that means you need to go and fix the position of your tendon. Okay, how do we fix position? Okay, situation, you're too close here. What do you need to do? This is a very interesting example. Without pulling up? You are, so trailer isn't, you know, growing in, in any mirror. No, you, you see this, but you're too close to the console rate. Make very small adjustments to the right. Why? First of all, you need to push your tandem a little bit to the left. You will mess up on angle a little, but just make sure it's a little. 
you go going right, so you, you're making your trailer go left, okay? Straighten it up, when it's enough. Now, when you go, you see that now your tandem is in the middle. Trailer is not growing in any side, you're straight, but your angle isn't perfect. How to fix this angle? Now you counter steer to the left a little. Okay, by counter steering to the left, you will fix this angle. You will push the, the trailer right. And then keep controlling this. Sink a lot, okay? It's not about you hitting the truck and you can do it. Oh, you were born with this ability. Oh, really? It's not happening. Just it's not happening. I see it all the time. Please sink a lot. This is the most, after pretty, of course. <laughs> it's the most difficult part of the test, of the driving, the straight line. Understanding, just two things, right? Put your tandem in, uh, in the middle of the setup and fix the angle of your, of your trailer. At the same point, thumb rule, one half of the rotation maximum, and uh, check your mirrors every second. Okay? Now, let's talk a little bit, since we have time, let's talk a little bit uh, Okay, um, let's talk a little bit about, let's remember a little bit, um, how are we starting up? What is the difference between safe and quick start of the engine? Safe and quick start. Safe and quick start. The drug is cold. Let's say it's your turn to drive. You're coming somewhere you cut it off. So what do you do? Uh, go to the ACC, uh, or the accessory mode, and now all the computers will catch up. Wait 5 10 seconds, seconds yeah. right, until it disappears. And then fire it off. And don't leave it in battery mode, please, even when you change it, yeah. when you're going to the taking break or something. Well, what is the point of battery mode? Well, as I said, when you when you live in the truck, right? In some cases, you this is an example. You cannot live in the state of California, for example, or Pennsylvania. You cannot leave your truck. I mean, engine speed. It's prohibited. No idle for the uh, diesel engine more than five meters or something. So it's prohibited. So you just can't. And most of the facilities they prohibit it here. So. Uh, Last, it was a situation for me, good example, in Chicago, a lot of warehouses, they inside of the buildings, inside. So they're rolling up uh, the door, and then you're backing all the way in, like, I don't know, 100 feet behind this, these doors. So you're inside, this is their first floor. You're backed, then you're cutting engine, because yeah, it's, it's uh, one of the requirements, otherwise. I saw an article in New York. Huh? I saw an article in New York. Yeah. There's a group of people, that's all they do, like neighborhood watch, uh -huh. and they watch people, and they call them in, and they get 85% of the fine. Shit. Sure. Yeah, he said they make a living off of calling in on truckers. Shit. Yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Why people are doing it? It's an easy job. It's, it's shitty, it's not a job. Yeah. 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 Because they're making money. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Truck, truck instead of C, if, instead of B in this truck, right? <laughs> I will be <better> report you. <laughs> Shit, I know. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I don't know where's the recruiters, so um, we can probably 